So this is the area that Alex took you through yesterday. And so it, the plumber fixed everything, fixed, then they lowered the soil level. Um, I think the whole, from what Alex was explaining, the water up to the house, that was just circumstance, <laughs> unfortunately, to where the pipe had water and then we got so much rain that that's when the water got in the house. Um, but it's all the pipe is fixed um, and then we'll have all of that warranty from the sellers as well. So there is the pipe information and then I'm still waiting. Um, I texted and asked about the propane tank and we'll walk to the front and then I'll go in the house. So, like I've said, I mean, as far as rate of return, um, I don't, I don't know the numbers because I don't know what you guys are going to fix. But I am, I will send you everything that has sold in the past year for Foxfire. Um, Foxfire doesn't turn over very often. People want this out in the open, kind. I mean, not out in the open, out in this open. Um, acre, acre plus lots. Um, Foxfire is is a very desired area. So as far as the placement of the house and in the neighborhood, it's it's very desirable. Um, now, if anything else doesn't fit for you guys like that, that's totally like personal preference. But what I can tell you from living here is that this is um, a very desirable neighborhood and um, um, anyways and so then you can also uh, just know that like Southwood Valley again it's all gonna be um, personal preference so there there are you know lot it's it's a successful school like it still produces great kids has great teachers um, the listing agent actually her kids they both her kids went to Southwood Valley and um, now that was you know a different time because her kids are graduated from A&M and all of that so anyways just know that that is um, it just houses a wider variety of population so not good not bad just that's kind of where that is so all right I'm gonna go on in the house 